Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to root the OnePlus One. Okay, so first up, this method only works on Windows as the toolkit I'm using is for Windows. Uh, then we're gonna to go to the Java download page because you need to have Java installed in order for this little toolkit to work. So you just pick your version. Here I have Windows 64. Save that to your desktop and then we're gonna run it and just kind of go through the prompts to install it. Now it says you successfully installed Java. Close that. And next we're gonna download the toolkit. So click on that link there to take it to the developers page. Um, please consider donating to him if this helps you. And scroll down and under download, you're gonna see the toolkit link. Click on that, hit direct download. Save that to your desktop. After you download the toolkit, you have to close your browser. Uh, and then you can open the browser back up so that you can follow along with the instructions and we're gonna double click the toolkit and now it should open. Okay, in the toolkit, we're gonna click download ADB drivers and wait for that. Then you can close that and hit install ADB drivers and hit yes, hit Y, hit enter, hit Y, then enter, hit Y, then enter, and then hit next, finish. Okay, on the device, we're going to go to settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, scroll all the way down and keep tapping build number until it makes you a developer. Go back, tap developer options. Click Android debugging and turn that on and hit okay. And then we're gonna plug the device in via USB. And when you do in the drivers install, you should get this little warning. Tap always allow this computer and hit OK. And in the toolkit, we're gonna hit enter fast boot and reboot to fast boot mode. And the device should reboot. And install some more drivers. When it does, we're gonna click unlock bootloader. Hit. And by the way, this will completely wipe your device at this point. So you need to back up all your photos, whatever else you need. Before you do this, this is the point of no return. Continue. And the device will just automatically kind of reboot itself and erase everything. You'll have to go through this setup process again. So do that. Re-enable USB debugging by going back to settings. About phone. Keep that thing build. Android debugging. Tap the always allow from this computer and okay again. And we're just gonna hit flash recovery. Let's do TWRP, hit download. Once that's done, you can close that and then we're gonna hit flash. Okay, we're just gonna click boot. Select TWRP, hit boot. And now when we're in recovery, we're just gonna hit reboot and system. It's gonna tell you, do you wanna install super user? You can swipe to do that. And when the phone boots, make sure you're connected to some type of network. You can pull down the top here and you'll see super user installer. Tap to install it, hit play, and hit update for super user. And when it says successfully updated, you should now see super SU. We're gonna tap on that, click continue, hit normal. And once a success, hit OK. No thanks. And then we're going to go to the Play Store and look for Root Checker. Download that. Open it. Agree. OK. Verify Root. Hit Grant. And if you see that, you have root access and a custom recovery, you're all set. And then to make life simple, I just suggest going to the Play Store, download Quick Boot, open that, we're gonna tap Recovery, Grant. And if you see this custom recovery image still, uh, that means that everything is good to go. You have root access and a custom recovery image. You can now go flash custom ROMs or use rooted apps um, for more of that. Click on the link beneath this video to be taken to more of those tutorials. Enjoy.